spiritual powers of white trade spiritual benefits of white teller trade the amazing unexpected spiritual powers of white trade by god's grace in today's video i wish to share with you the amazing and unexpected spiritual powers of white trade if only you follow me to the end of today's video you get that amazing information last time i was able to share the spiritual benefit of black trade i point it out to you that for those that will always ask me where is it written in the bible that the work jesus did will do it more and not just that if you go to first corinthians 10 that what the bible says do everything to the glory of god so long as it doesn't stop you from your prayers reading the word of god putting your whole trust in god but one word the other these are things that god has given man the uh, ability to create that was why the creation he breathed the strength in man for man to continue the creation and the same aura of power and grace that other things that god has created have that is how each of item that my mom has created have that power so long as you bring it consecrated like i made video on how to consecrate spiritual item using anointing oil if i remember i'll paste it in this particular video under the comment pinned comment in this video so that you know how to consecrate your spiritual material you consecrate it separate it for spiritual use and don't always be the one that you're using regularly to mend clothes and so if you tell her but separate it believe me it will give you the spiritual powers i'm going to list right now so if only you follow me to the end of today's video you get that amazing information but for them please give this video a thumbs up so that like mine will also get it as you do so may god bless you so welcome once again to Jenny action tv in this particular channel i discuss three important variables which are actually health safety and spirituality believe me if you can understand and apply this three correctly in your life the sky will not be your limit it becomes your starting point if this is the very first time you're landing in this channel you're highly welcome please do wait to hit the red subscribe button and the bell notification so that it will always notify you once i upload a new video for my returning subscribers i love you so much thank you for always stopping by for my new timers if you're searching for any video all you need to do is go to the side button in youtube type jenny action tv slide the keyword of the video you're looking for for example trade black trade you get the video i made in the past about black trade you watch and get some value so with that i share what's in your time let's delve right in now the first thing that this does for you is that it can actually be used as a protective armlet in the sense for example some people that complain that they don't know what happens to their money they don't actually understand how they spend their money and then they put money in their drawer or whatever mysteriously that money lost all you need to do is that when you have gotten your bundle of money just as you use the rubber tray to tie the money you can actually get some of this white white thread and use it to tie your money the next and just run this like four times east west north and south and pray that this money is protected no harm will come on it by god's grace you will notice that nothing happens to that your money and also if you notice that even the one you the where you keep money one word the other money doesn't stay in your hand mysteriously don't know how money lost or one word or the other always drop white thread in that particular drawer and by god's grace you will notice that your money is no longer missing again again is that you can actually use it for home blessing do you know that when you just in one word or the other put this particular a kind of white thread in front of your home either by using bitter cooler pass it and hang it like you just hang or you use something like garlic use needle and cross garlic and hang it so long as it's a white thread you use that white thread alone is drawing aura into your home and pushing out every form of negativity that every because white represents purity everything that resembles impurity will be departing you from your home and for such people that have a kind of housemaid or have somebody that one way or the other maybe your man or your husband is a kind of going after side chic and maybe when you are not around you have the effrontery to bring that side sheet your matrimonial home mysteriously that person will stop doing that even if you do it as he cannot have that effrontery to come and do it inside your home if you have a housemaid that when you go out like when i was teaching in the not i was working in the north or teaching in the north there is this a kind of awful story that is said that a housemaid and that because the the person who employed this housemaid is working in cbn so because he was working in cbn then he has to bring a housemaid to take care of the children and along the line each of the children started falling sick one after the other so when he took the fam the the, the children to be examined and he noticed that all of them are now HIV positive. 
and then they tested the, the house girl. The house girl is simply HIV positive. And then they started inter interrogating the house girl. It happened that the house girl will always bring men to mess up with whenever the couple is not around because the okay, the woman is the one working in CBL. The husband is a businessman. He goes and come back late in the night. Two of them ret returns late in the night. And lo and behold, five children they have, we are all infected. And at the end of the day, when this housemaid are finished messing up outside, we come back to mess the children up. And that was how all the children, both male and female among them, become HIV positive. This was the type of negative evil vibe that was actually happening in that home but if you one word or the other tie this white thread like the way i said it you will notice that even if that person would have done such a thing the power that will hold that person from doing it the person cannot explain it and the person will not see him or herself doing it so this is one thing that it does for you again is that one word or the other it can be a meditation aid that sometimes you know one of the powers of manifestation manifestation bringing what you want into existence is your ability to meditate imagine you think about it let's say for example you notice that the year is coming to an end that uh, soon we already in ember month and you have not achieved much you begin to meditate how you can still buy a car in this year how you can still get your vehicle in this year and how you, and you hold this and that they are like thinking one word the other it will pull you up to begin to think out positive step that you will take in order to achieve what you want to do because whatever we think in our heart heart one way or the other we have the capacity to bring it forth and that is why bible said guard your heart with all diligence according to proverbs 4 17 for out of it are the issues of life when you are always thinking of fear of death that is when you are calling on tiny death you you are thinking of how you succeeded you make it you will still get married even in this year that this year will not come to an end until you get married one word or other you bring it into manifestation because even if god say yes in your situation and your mind is saying no that yes will remain in the realm of the spirit god doesn't force anybody and that's why he has given us the power to do right and do wrong and then if you choose right the consequence is there if you choose wrong the consequences is there so it helps you one word the other to meditate positively and always bring into manifestation some of your positive intentions and be able to actualize greatness so that's another thing it does do you know that you can actually use it to remove every form of negative energy negativity feeling of uneasiness unnecessary a kind of feeling of attacks around your home when you notice such a thing just roll it round like on the ground around your home making prophetic declaration that every negative energies every negative auras operating in this home all this unusual noise all this falling sick and getting well today falling sick today getting well tomorrow all this unnecessary spoiling of the sink spoiling of the a okay, kind of car spoiling of one thing or the other making me to spend unnecessary money wherever you are coming from i careless to know but as i roll this thing around now i am pushing pushing you away you start rolling it all around until you do like you roll it away from the main door that leads to the outside in your house when you roll it away Go and set it ablaze by God's grace. Every negativity, every negative energy that is operating in that home will be cleared and you will see, have atmosphere of quietness and atmosphere of serenity and atmosphere of God's presence that will enable you to pray. Do you know that it's negativity that hinders our prayers? Bible records that when Daniel prays, his prayer was answered that instant. But the prince of Persia delayed that prayer till 21 days and then the angels of God had to fight to retrieve that prayer. Let's assume that this uh, uh, Daniel had prayed that he's going for interview tomorrow morning to go and uh, get job and maybe there are many people that will be interviewed and that job was destiny for him. After his prayer, then he has to wait 21 days to collect the answer. What is the implication? The implication is that you will lose that job. Then you have to wait for the next opportunity. So we don't want to put anything by chance by wasting our opportunities. So once we notice negativity, deal with it once and for all. And you will always be having that positive vibes, positive vibration to, to achieve greatness. Because that is the will of God for us to achieve greatness and not to be going backward. Again, is that it is a symbol of unity. It's a symbol
symbol of peace, it's a symbol of harmony. Whenever one word or the other, you hang it, you tie it in the house, you use it to hang some of your things. Let's assume that you have maybe calendar to hang, you have anything, maybe mirror, anything to hang, and then you, you can use it like you make it to form like a big rope in the sense that you can put like three, four, five, six, ten at the same time to hang that particular thing. You will notice that it will be bringing positive aura in that home. People in that home, one word or the other, hardly quarrel, hardly fight. It introduces peace and harmony in that home. That if it is a home that we husband and wife will bust out quarreling for no just cause. Because there are a lot of manipulation going on. Some quarrels that you that take place in the home may not be ordinary. It might be orchestrated by some malevolent forces and wickednesses and projection of evil men. So one way or the other, this helps to push it out and make sure that such a thing or no un unusual quarrel and uh, disharmony happens in the home or even among the children. We have had those of us that always pay attention to what happens online. You see in the internet where a woman lost the, her life trying to separate two sons that we are actually fighting and one of them went and bring a knife in a bit to stab the up the brother the ma the woman trying to a kind of stop that the brother they now stab the woman and the woman died this has some this may look so ordinary but th there is manipulation behind it and ordinarily nobody will actually want to kill the brother or even kill the mother but there are some forces that pushes people maybe out of greed striving for property and all those things and then they will end up killing one another but where this is used to hang anything one way or the other you will notice that such evil powers will not easily operate in such a okay, one way or the other it promotes both physical spiritual and emotional healing because one way or the other when we are sick emotionally we try to act abnormal when we are sick physically we will not be able to do our normal routine and most of the time some sicknesses are not ordinary they may be projection they may be a way the devil want to hinder us from getting our potential from achieving better results but one way or the other it attract positive vibration and because of that positive vibration, you will notice that hardly will any sickness, especially unusual ones, strike the home. So maybe if it is sickness that is man-made, for example, if you deliberately leave yourself a mosquito to bite, that one is man-made sickness, malaria will come. So I'm not talking of that one, or you, you know that there is cold, you deliberately on the fan, on the kind of um, your air condition till daybreak and sleep under it. You will have cough, you have catar, you have, or you continue betting cold water. When you know that you are living in a stream cold environment, you will surely have sickness. I'm not talking of that sickness, but some unusual sickness that are form of manipulation, you have been well. All of a sudden, you have visa interview to go, you have job interview to go. It is that day that the enemy would remember to strike you with one sickness. Like I know somebody that actually have a, an interview to go to one of the most powerful school or highest school in Abuja then and then the same day he's he was called upon within that week that he's going to go to that interview see a big witch load started happening in his hand and because of that and and that hand is the right hand is supposed to write he couldn't actually write on the board and he couldn't actually a kind of express his scale of teaching very well and that made him to lose the job though all things work together for good to them that love god at the end of the day he even gets a better job because he later landed a federal government job so what am i telling you some of these are not ordinary they are manipulations that hit people in order to stop them from possessing their position have you not heard of him somebody that was supposed to travel abroad the next day he died the same night then these are some of manipulation but one word or the other it makes this a manipulations not to happen in the home where it is used the last but whenever you are doing ceremonies you now use this a kind of white rope to tie some things let's say for instance you are doing graduation for those that have school you are doing birthday pet in your house and you have a kind of balloon that you want to use to decorate uh, everywhere use white rope to tie those balloons by god's grace you to a word of negativity people that come to fight there people that have mind to come and poison people what will they abuse their mind is what they will not explain because God will pass through it and do tremendous miracle. That is when you have bought it and consecrated it for spiritual use, you get all this aura from it. So with this, I've actually come to the end of today's video, believing that somebody has actually found value. If you are one of those, why not give this video a thumbs up? Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not done so. Hit the bell notification so to get my next 
upload comment on this video share this video and channel it to everyone i should be helping a lot of people as to do so may god bless you i know you cause you to ride upon the high place of this earth see your lady jenny saying bye bye